Policing is about what we do. It's about how we do it. And would I say, unfortunately, it's also about who does it. Um, and I'm going to start about the who. Uh, I work at the something called Utvärderingsfunktionen, nice word. Uh, it's after the organization, reorganization is placed under the National Operation uh, Department. I work with um, analyzing of the organization and leadership. So that's my main goal in the organization. I've been here for a little more than five years. <coughs> You're not supposed to read this. Mm -hmm. um, Sir Robert Peel. Some of you have heard of him, some of you have not. We had a tendency some time ago to start to talk about the war on. The war on drugs, the war on terrorism, the war on the war on. And that is as far as you can get from the Peel's uh, principles. Because what he talked about from the beginning, he was the one that started the first modern London um, police department. And what he talked about first was relations. Relations with the public. And if we don't build relations with the public, we won't do any good policing. And that is what we're going to talk about today, really. Relations and a change of mindset from war on to relations. <coughs> I borrowed this from the web page from Coppell in, uh, uh, in Texas. Uh, McTristan, who is chief of police, that have been working with um, servant leadership for a while, and he has gone done that in two more uh, police um, departments, and he's done uh, tremendous good uh, effects of that. And um, he is what's saying there is like connecting to the principles, to to uh, Peel's principles. <coughs> I have this officer story where I, can you open it please? Um, I met this officer who'd been an, a police officer for five years and he said, I have been working with young kids and I have been working with elderly people, both very uh, important uh, professions. But I have never been so satisfied after a day's work since I've been since the police. And he know, says, sometimes the people that I interact with don't really know that I am helpful. As when I take a drunken kid from the street, they really want to be there, they want to go on partying. But I know that it's the best for them not to be there. So it's satisfying to be there, to, to, to be this kind of a person and trying to get relations. So he also talked as if he <coughs> knew more about Peel's principle than he really did. Um, and I, I think of what Chip and, and what uh, Nicholas and everyone else is doing every day in the day-to-day -day work, uh, interacting with people and what make them do this and how, what make them uh, stay on work. And I think there is a certain kind of people that can do this. I couldn't do it. Uh, I get too stressed up when things happen. I would rather strangle someone <laughs> than be nice to them. Um, and, and what we know is that co-workers modeling the leaders. So if you are a laissez-faire leader, you will have probably not have the best uh, performance out in the street. And if you are a tough leader, you will have tough kids, uh, guys out on the streets. So we need good leaders. Uh, we made um, an ideal police uh, profile out of what research have found so far. Uh, and today we are going to look at the three bottom uh, scales 
tolerance, social interest and communication. Because if you don't have that, you can skip the rest of it. This is the basic. If, if, if we want to look for good police persons, we have to start down there, because that's the beginning of, the, of policing. So tolerance is about how we look at others and how we behave towards others. Because how tolerant our attitudes will manifest in, in our behavior. Uh, trust in others has to do that we actually uh, get the first communication. We don't, how we look at them at the first time. Do we trust them or do we think they are doing their worst? Do we have a negative thought from the beginning? And build trust is what Sir Peel's uh, nine principles is about. We have to build trust among others. Uh, social interest is that we really, really want to make good, build good relations and that we take an interest in creating contacts in, and we have a need to do that and we, uh, we really understand that there is a need to do that. And at least openness and that's transparency. And um, without transparency we don't have legit legitimacy. Legitimacy and credibility. So we need that. But then I wondered, are we different from, are Swedish police leaders different from other police leaders? And no, I don't think so. Unfortunately, I don't think so. So this is not a, com not, not a Swedish problem, it's a common problem in Western police leadership. Um, then I looked at uh, Coppell's um, police and asked them to do the same survey and I asked um, Chip's team and uh, a team around him I think do the same survey and we found that in those two groups they were better in all of it except for tolerant attitude they were the same so if we work on this we can change and make a difference and that was, was the most important thing to know uh, that we need to work on this and, and to make a for to make a difference. So I was just to start up by giving a framework around this. So I'm going to leave my the word to Johan. <laughs>